we're done fueling up. We still got to pay, but as you can see, the sun's setting down back behind us. So looks like uh, we're going to be spending a night here on the coast. The uh, bad news is we left all our gear there at the uh, at the medical clinic. So I guess we're at the coast with, with no clothes or nothing. But uh, anyways, hopefully we'll find a nice hotel. We'll see what happens. We're we'll get, getting the plane stopped off and then uh, and then we'll be ready to roll. We are the Farmer family, and we have been missionaries for most of our lives. We've been on some pretty epic adventures, and we figured it was about time to take you along. If you're ever in Oaxaca, you gotta try the Clayudas. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yes. Yo me llamo Neymar. Yo me llamo all right guys, come and join us on another epic adventure. So on this adventure, we are leaving Mexico and we're headed down into Guatemala and then Honduras to go check out a clinic that we might possibly be able to work with uh, in the future. So I've got Justin back there, he's gone. And I've got Clint going along with me. So this ought to be a fun adventure. Come along and join the fun. All right, we just landed here in Oaxaca. We met up with the guys from Pastas de Socorro. And uh, we're gonna go meet up with some uh, other UIM missionaries in the town of Oaxaca and enjoy a little bit of good food. Uh, I am Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you. Hello for everyone. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, I'm Jason. It's great to be here with Juan and have him show us around all this de Socorro and, and help us out as we get through uh, through all the checkpoints and everything here at the airport. So thanks, Bob. Yeah, you are very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're walking the downtown streets of Oaxaca here. It's kind of fun, they got all these open markets. So here's the rule. Justin, if they say something, it's for your mother-in-law. You gotta buy it, man. Alright. So we'll see what we end up with at the end. Who buys what for their mother-in-law? What I love about traveling around Mexico is trying the local cuisine. Here we have clayudas. Now clayudas are famous in Oaxaca here. You take your big tortilla shell, you cover it in a mole sauce, which is like a chocolate uh, enchilada sauce that originates out of Oaxaca. And they put their meat on it, and then they put some of the, the mole on it, the meat on it, and then some of the Oaxacan cheese, and then they'll put a few other toppings on it. And these are a great thing. I love eating the clayudas. Something else that is known for in Oaxaca is chapalinas. Now chapalinas are these little insects that you're gonna see right here. These are fried grasshoppers. They fry these in oil with chili and lime and salt. So now I talk my buddies into giving this a whirl. There you go. You're gonna have one. You gotta try it, man. 
Crickets. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can try one. All right. Oh, I miss I miss Clint's uh, reacting. You're gonna have to do it all over again, man. <laughs> How's the Chapelinas? Yeah. All right, man. I got I gotta get the. Gotta get the reaction. We gotta get the reaction. Yeah. Get a good one. There we go. All right, there we go, man. Give it all. Good stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get it, Chapolinas. Get it, Chapolinas. So now it's my turn to try the Chapolinas. There you go. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. I don't think you're, I don't think you're really No, man. Tastes just like chicken. A salty chicken. <laughs> All right, now it's time to dig into this sucker. Looking forward to that. If you're ever in Oaxaca, you gotta try the Clayudas. decided to fly right by this volcano and as we came by as we looked a little closer you could actually see some hikers at the top and they started waving to us so I decided to rock my wings and wave back to them if you look really closely you might get to see them there on the top of the trail So about 50 miles out, we could see this volcano spewing forth ash. I wanted to play right by it and get a good view of it, but my buddies decided otherwise, and so we stayed about 10 miles away from the volcano just in case it really decided to erupt. All right, so we just landed here in Guatemala. Just had a bunch of inspectors come out, uh, run through the airplane, and they also grabbed all of our luggage and walked away with our luggage. So we're hoping one day we'll get the luggage back. But things were crazy as soon as we land. It was like a circus around the airplane. It was fun, but uh, we're glad to be here in Guatemala. Hoping to get all our paperwork and everything in order and uh, we'll be on our way and be able to spend a couple days here in Guatemala and then on to Honduras later. So we'll show you some more adventures. So now it was time to try some Guatemalan food. We went to this bakery and decided to try some of their things. As we ordered our breakfasts, it's very common to get a blob of black bean paste with whatever meal that you have. Normally you got fried bananas and this bean paste and then whatever else came with your meal. Hey. I guess, yeah, I only <laughs> see two guys. guys back there, but. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It was Sunday morning, so we decided to go to church. This was held at an American Christian school there in Guatemala. It's always fun for me to go to different countries and try their different church services and enjoy fellowshipping with our brothers and sisters in Christ in another language and another culture. Yeah, you can just see it there. Above the airplane, you can see the volcano going off a little bit. All right, well anyways, plane's loaded up. We're about ready to head over to International Airport. We're gonna check out of Guatemala here and then fly on to uh, Honduras and, and check into Honduras here in a little bit. So 
hopefully this will all go well and everything will go smoothly. So. Flight plan is all done, and we're all checked out of Guatemala. Got our flight plan to Honduras and uh, permission to land in Honduras. So we're ready to roll and go see the next country. So we'll see you in the air. Okay, so we made it to Honduras. We've cleared all the uh, customs and immigration. Took a little bit of while. Took a little while, but uh, we're all done with that. So now we got to take the plane over, and we're gonna fuel it up and get it ready to go. And then we're gonna fly out to the, uh, the medical clinic. We got about an hour and 40 minutes to go, and we should be out to the medical clinic. I don't know if you can see some of those clouds there in the background. There's uh, quite a bit of clouds on the mountain, so we might have to stay on the coastal side of things to stay out of those clouds, but. Uh, should be fun. We're looking forward to getting to the getting to the clinic and seeing what's going on there. So hopefully we'll be able to get going here soon and get this taken care of. So we made it here to, to the medical clinic area. There is um, three hangars. We've got our airplane parked in the back there. Here's the airplane for the clinic that's been sitting there for the last couple of years. So we've got a little bit of work to do there on that one. Airstrip's back behind me. And then uh, it's actually a third hangar here. So uh, we we're talking a little bit tonight about setting up meetings tomorrow. We're gonna be talking with the um, the board here about uh, possibly partnering with them and setting up some uh, flight services for them and and reopening this air base that's been closed for for several years so a lot of exciting things happening and uh, we're excited to see what's going to happen and and go from here so let's take a look at this this airplane All right, we're here at the uh, clinic. This is the entry to the clinic. They got a little tienda right here uh, by the entry. And they've got a compound and quite a few buildings yet. I'm yet to have the full tour, so I'm not sure what all the buildings are, but, but uh, at least here in the entryway of the clinic, this is what it looks like here. So he says we're gonna start here, and then we're gonna go through the clinic and end up over there by the generators so that those of you who have not been here can learn or can understand what's going on. Escado is called King Aula. Um, the king Aula means the king is coming. And so as the king comes, uh, then you, um, it, it, it kind of bows, you know, as, as if the, it's uh, bowing to the king. But you also use it, um, if you boil it, and I don't know how to do this, but you boil it, and it, um, if you drink it, it can put you to sleep or, or worse. Um, or worse. Or worse. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, kill you. We 
of course, in the United States, eat the, the nut. Um, it's, I understand it somehow, um, you have to cook them. Is okay. the nut on top? No, that, it's inside, isn't it? This is the nut. That's the nut, oh, the but, cashew. Okay, so, but they have to be cooked, and then something else happens. It's a weird process. I would have never this, I understand these are related somehow to uh, poison ivy. Um, <laughs> kids, my, my kids, when they were little, would, would suck on them or whatever, and, and they burn. And that's why we need to, we need to cook them. So we told you that they get one meal a day from us at the noon meal, but then the patients can also come in here and cook um, okay. other stuff. They can get and that's, that's the traditional okay. mosquito store, which is in La Bosquita. This region of Honduras is called the Gracias a Dios region, and the only way in and out of this town is by riverboat or by aircraft. Now, even though you see cars and motorcycles and vehicles, those all had to come in by boat, and there's no roads exiting the town. So you could see how critical aviation is in this part of Honduras. You know, what could be a couple hours on boat might mean, or a few minutes in the airplane might mean life or death for some of these people. All right, we're ready to try some new food. Justin Stoke. <laughs> All right, we're grabbing our bags. We're headed out of here. Hopefully, get some cool air. Made it all the way from Honduras to uh, the bottom of Mexico in one in one shot. So that was great. Just uh, checked into customs here in Tapachula, Mexico. And so we're gonna go explore the town and get a hotel and enjoy a little bit of air conditioning because it's been a hot one here. So glad to be back in Mexico.